Hello, my fellow Soul Gardeners. We are almost complete with the Sun Libra Transit, and my reading special, which is 90 minutes for the price of one hour, is almost complete as well. You got four days left to place your order, and then I'm raising my soul capital. So if you want more details, just email us at readings at soulgarden.tv. Hello, Cancers, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Well, Sunny, professional, so ready for your success. Your home planet, the moon, is now full today in Aries. Now, first of all, since the moon is your home planet, your ruling planet, I find Cancers go one of two ways. I know a lot of Cancers that get really quiet and introverted during a full moon, almost docile, like they're just on the couch, they can't get off the couch. And I know Cancers that go totally loony. You know, like when Tom Cruise was jumping on the couch. Must have been a full moon that day. He's a Cancer. So it kind of depends, first of all. Now, for every Cancer on the planet, it does mean your emotions are full when it comes to career. This is a time where you're very passionate about what you want out of career. And that need for a career, that need for a legacy, that need to make a difference is the wolf in sheep's clothing. It's not about that need. It's about your foundation. Remember, the sun and moon are in opposition, a tug of war on one another. And the one that's supposed to win is the emotion. You're supposed to have what you want emotionally when it comes to your career. What needs to change? Well, your own self-nurturing. We're in the 29th degree of sun in Libra. This is the final and tested degree of the lesson. This is where the universe tempts you back. Maybe tempts you back into old worry that you won't make rent. Old worry about your family. Old worry about your mother, which was the nurturing parent. So this does apply, okay? And the whole trick is don't fall into the old worry. Something about career, something about legacy, and legacy may be I want to be known as a great mother or I want to be known as a great, uh, great grandfather, I mean an amazing one. Uh, that would be legacy. So it's not just career, could be triggering these old thoughts. And really you've got to let go of what's keeping you from just taking good care of yourself, of stepping into that role, all right? If you do fall into the old space, just take a note of it, not a big deal. Saturn's going to be in Libra until 2012. This is not a lesson you're going to get completely this month. I've been saying that so you don't judge yourself, all right? Now, through the weekend, things really kind of shift up. Tomorrow on Saturday, everyone's kind of out of it. The moon will be in Taurus. So you're going to really be feeling social, but you're not going to be feeling it, okay? So it's going to be a paradox. The sun at zero degrees means the sun's offline. Zero means zero. We're kind of between different states of awareness. So feeling social on Saturday, but don't really feel like doing it at the same time. On Sunday, you do kind of click into gear. With the sun in one degree, you're going to feel sharper. The moon will be in Taurus. Sunday's a good day maybe to get out, socialize, be with your friends, recharge your spiritual batteries. And it's Friday. We've got a new episode of Astro Gossip starring DJ astrologer David Palmer and myself. We're looking at the headlines, the celebrities, the politicians, all through astrological eyes in a positive way, by the way. We are positive gossip guys. Gossip Kings. Oh, I like that. We're going to call ourselves Gossip Kings. A couple of Gossip Kings on camera. Either way, check it out. It's a lot of fun, and it starts streaming as of Friday. Okay, Cancer, that's all I have for your weekend forecast. When we come back on Monday, we're going to start working on your heart chakra. Have a great weekend, and live, love, be. So